Hey everyone, Matt Pesarsic from RazorEmporium.com. Coming to you today, I got the time machine. We are going back to 1977 and checking out the Atra Razor. That's right, people, another cartridge video. <laughs> let's, let's get started. You're looking at a superbly engineered instrument, a Gillette Atra Razor. Because no two faces are the same, the head pivots, allowing Atra Micro Smooth Twin Blades to adjust to the contours of your face for a really close, safe shave. If all this sounds like we're trying to get you to buy an Atra, you're wrong. We just want you to buy five blades and we'll give you this Atra razor free. But hurry, an offer like this goes fast. Buy five blades, get a free Atra. We are all lathered up with a Santa Claus beard brought to you by Razor Emporium Barbershop. <laughs> yes, it's that good. You can see within, I think, just less than a minute, um, I made a phenomenal lather. You're welcome. <laughs> very, very good. I used a Razor Emporium $25 uh, badger brush, best badger brush, not a $500 hand tied high mountain white knot. Nope, just. Felt great. Makes lather for days. I mean, look at this stuff. This is hydrated. It's slick. It's foamy and cushy and wet and has a great consistency. Easy. I did have a secret weapon. That is this. The Razor Emporium pre-shave soap. So I was able to kind of put this on first and it amplifies, magnifies, multiplies any shaving soap, it makes it bigger, slicker, faster, wetter, all those adjectives that are great. So that's what I got going on. And today, Marty McFly is over here, Doc Brown's over here. We just hopped into the DeLorean. We went back to 1977 and we found ourselves a Gillette Atra Plus in the packaging. That's right, people. Get excited. If you didn't know, the origins of the cartridge razor start back in the late 60s. Um, then you have like in 71, you have the track two with two blade razor and a fixed head that doesn't move at all. And in 1977, they had this pivoting head. It was able to pivot. And yes, it's pink. <laughs> uh, so this head can slightly move if you, if you see that, right? Deek, 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 deek. We got a pivoting razor head. It doesn't do it like the razors from 2000 and you know 21 with this giant, huge pivoting motion. No, no, no. And this has got like springs and stuff in it or something that kind of gives recoil. It literally just does it by the kind of play in the mechanism that holds the cartridge to the handle. There's some, there's some play in there. And it basically allows it to move. Now, this is the Atra Plus. It's got the comfort strip. Now, I wonder if the comfort strip is really going to be that comforting and lubricating after being in the package for 40-something odd years. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I did. Yeah, all I could find, guys, this came in with a collection that I got from Argentina. And it was pink. I know. But I have enough masculinity to use a pink razor so deal with it because <laughs> i am but yeah it's unopened you know you kind of cracked it open for the video it's got an extra cartridge with it i don't know what to expect um i've never used an atra reminds me of a sensor yeah, so here we go Not horrible. Honestly, less tugging than I was expecting. 
I have um let's see here. I've got like one and a half days growth. I think if I had more growth, I'd feel more tugging. But for an old razor and an old package, not bad. Now being a razor from the 70s, and knowing you guys out there, some of you guys were born in the 50s, 60s, I want to know, who used Inatra? Any of you guys? Or was your first cartridge razor experience like a Mach 3 or sensor? Who used a cartridge razor in the 70s? Tell me in the comments. It's not horrible. It's obviously tugging more than double edge. And I'm gonna be a little bit cautious. I hope I don't get some ingrown hairs from this. It seems like every time I get out of the woods of ingrown hairs, I, I, uh, <laughs> have to do another video like this. <laughs> but guys, I do it for you. <laughs> so that you can see. I think these are still on the market in the sense that they, they can be found like on eBay and I think you can buy the, buy the cartridges still. So if you got like an old handle and you know where to look, you may be able to find these cartridges. I know whenever we get them in with a collection like this, they actually sell fairly fast. And I've had people ask us like, can you repair my cartridge razor? I have an old Atra or Track 2, can you fix it? I'm like, no, like this mechanism, no, it doesn't really come apart. It's not the most enjoyable shave ever, but I've used worse. <laughs> so that's where, that's where I'm at. Not the best, certainly not the worst, but it's definitely tugging more than I enjoy. I would, let's just say this, I'm not gonna wanna use it again. It's certainly going to be a one and done kind of a thing. And I'm, this is the part of the shave where I'd be kind of like going from 70% to like 90%, 95% enjoyable. And I'm going to stop <laughs> because, 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 because. What I've been doing at home more, watch this guys. I, I know I'm, I'm usually the one pass shaver, right? But at home, I've been doing this little thing where I kind of take a little residual lather. I don't need to even get the brush out. I just kind of get a, maybe call it re-lather. They usually do like a touch up pass or like kind of like just like an inspection with my hands. And for that, I'm gonna grab, yes, my old beat up Gillette new from the 30s with a Durham duplex handle, <laughs> Franken razor. And it's not even close. You can hear it. How much, how much cleaner and closer and easier of a shave this is. I'm not wincing or making those faces. <laughs> and I would actually really prefer to go over my touch-up pass with this. Yeah, so I did it though. Not only did I take one for the team here with the cartridge razor again, I did it with a pink razor. That's how much I care about telling you like it is. Ugh, yeah.
Got my Dovo towel from the last shave. Not too bad. I've got one or two little parts of, it, of irritation that were pre-existing. My lower neck is like, if I breathe on it wrong, I get irritation. <laughs> so I've got to be so careful. I always tell you guys, this is why the business got started. I didn't like think like, oh, razors. I was like, this sucks. I can't get a good shape. What do I have to do? And I tried all this stuff, tried all this stuff, and I, it, it was double edge. And as long as it's a, the right double edge for my skin, and the right lather and all that, all the stars align, I get a great shave, right? I am rubbing in my Razor Emporium Aftershave Lotion. It is like a lotion. It has a thick consistency, but it is so soothing to just rub around. Feels great. And now it's start. I'm not sure where you are in this, you know, the world, but in our neck of the woods in Arizona, it's starting to get a little bit cool, which means like 50s and 60s. <laughs> which for most of you guys out there is like a balmy afternoon at the beach or whatever. I don't know, but uh, this feels great on my skin. So. Um, that was the Atra Plus, and it, 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 it even has one other nomenclature, Sport. Atra Plus Sport. And it shows, like, it contouring around your face. So, yeah. <laughs> it was an experience. So, you know, I've, all, I've, I've talked about the Atra. I've talked about these kind of, kind of primitive cartridge razors, the first ones, and I've never I've even used one. And now I can say it did. And it's one and done. I don't need to again. And I'm glad it was with the pink one. <laughs> so that's all I got. If you are old enough to remember using an Atra, let me know in the comments below. If you've used a pink razor, come on guys, admit it. Tell me in the comments, it's all right. If you had to reach for the wife's razor one time, I won't tell, but you need to. <laughs> and if you do leave a comment, you're entered into winning us, the Razor Emporium official black and blue t-shirt. That's all I got. I am going to go enjoy.